Good morning from our new house. So if the background looks a little different, it's because we moved. This past weekend, we did our official move from our old house in San Francisco to about 15 minutes away. And so far, we of course are still getting settled in, but we love it. And I'm so excited to make this house a home. We also leave for Mexico in a couple days. This was a trip that we were supposed to go to in January, but it got postponed due to everything that was going on, but it is officially happening now. So today I have a long list of things on my to-do list. So I thought I'd take you along. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. I would really love it if you subscribe to my channel, especially if you do like vlogs because I will be vlogging our trip to Mexico. So if you want to tune in for that, make sure to subscribe. So before I take you through everything that is on my to-do list, I have to set up my desk still. So I'm going to do that really quick so that we can sit down, create a to-do list, and go through everything that needs to get done today before our trip. Just realized I left my desk chair at our old house. We will be going to our old house today, so I will pick it up then. We're getting our final items and doing a final walkthrough before we leave for our trip. Please excuse all of our stuff everywhere. As you can imagine, we are still settling in. So we're pretty much just moving everything around as we go throughout our day until we find a place for everything. So here's everything I have on my to-do list today. I need to do laundry. I need to cut Jonathan's hair. I cut it at home still, and so we wanna make it sure his haircut is all fresh for our trip. We are going to Target later today. We have a house run where we'll do a Goodwill run, pick up our last items from our old house, walk through with our landlord, set up desk. I did that. <laughs> I still need to move my computer here, but I'll do that later. And then I need to cancel PG&E from my old house. I need to forward my mail to this address and I need to wash my brushes so that they can be dry in time to pack tomorrow. So I'm going to take you along for the next couple days until we leave for Mexico so you can see all of our vacation prep and settling into the new house. So while I'm sitting at my desk, I'm going to take care of those two moving related things I need to do. I'm going to log into PG&E and see if I can cancel online. If not, I'll quickly call. And then I'm also going to see if I can forward my mail through my phone as well. If not, we'll go grab my computer. Awesome, it looks like I can cancel service online. So it should be pretty quick. That was way easier than I expected. Next up, I am going to forward my mail. So it seems like mail forwarding is pretty easy too. It looks like it'll just charge me $1.10 to verify my information. So I grab my wallet. All right, it's done. It looks like it wants me to update my voter registration, but I'm not leaving the state, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and check this off my list. We have about 20 minutes before we're going to head to the new house, so I'm going to take this time and just prepare everything I need to bring. We have a mattress cover that we're bringing to my housemate so she can use it since we moved. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. And a poster tube too, so I'm going to take that to her, see if we have any extra boxes and then we'll be ready to go and we'll go to the house for very likely one of the last time. I think we're still planning to go to the house tomorrow too, but that one will for sure be the very last time we'll go back to our San Francisco house. share everything I picked up at Target because Jonathan and I picked up a lot of stuff. We had a lot of vacation prep. We bought some things for a new house and just some other random refill things that we needed. Just in case it wasn't obvious, I am no longer doing a no-buy, so <laughs> I'm buying a lot of things that I've been thinking about for a while the past few months when I was trying to not buy anything I didn't immediately need. So to start, we bought some travel size chips because we do want to take some snacks on the plane so that we don't have to buy snacks at the airport when it's way more expensive. So because the flight is probably going to be pretty long, we bought some chips. John then got this organizer for his closet so he can put his pants in the closet closet. So we got this. John then got some coffee. I got some dish sponges, just boring stuff. 
I got a sticky bra. If you have any problems finding like the right bra to wear, if like it's backless or uh, like straps, like spaghetti straps, these sticky bras from Target are the best. I've been wearing them for like a decade and I love this brand, they're the best. I got a new razor and I thought I'd try this brand. It's called Flamingo. I always did the Venus razors before and I'd buy like the refill packs at Costco because you can get so many refill packs. But I've had the same razor for over 10 years at this point and the reason I picked up this was because it had a little holder and in our new shower there's just not a place to put your razor unless you buy like a thing for your razor so I figured it'd just be easier to just stick it onto the wall so I got this and I got the white color it is a flamingo brand we picked up a meat thermometer we had one of these but it just got lost in the move we're not sure where it is so we decided to pick up another one so we'd have it immediately I got these vitamins they are for bloating I heard that they work really well when like you're on vacation and you eat foods that you maybe like don't typically or you're eating out for every single meal because I I've always had the problem where I bloat really bad when I'm on vacation. So I thought I'd take this along and see if it helps. Then we grabbed a bunch of travel size like medications just in case we need it. We have these travel size hand sanitizer that John Lynn got, travel size Pepto Bismol, Tylenol, a little travel size toothpaste, John Lynn got chapstick. And he got a bar of soap and some travel size sunscreen. Depending on if we can find a place to buy sunscreen, we might buy a full size when we're there because I'm anticipating we'll need a lot of sunscreen and I don't wanna run short. We also got two of these bins to wash dishes. So I'm really excited for this. I showed a clip of it. It is a three-tier cleaning cart. I'm imagining we have a full like walk-in cleaning closet in this house. And so I imagine having this like right in the front. So all of the cleaning supplies are right there and we can wheel it around if we're doing some deep cleaning. We got some chips. These kettle chips are my favorite, especially the jalapeno ones. Jonathan got some almond kisses. He got these little Vermont original mini beef and pork sticks for travel. And then I thought I'd pick this up. This is high key mini cookies. They're keto. They only have one gram of net carbs. And I think they might be zero sugar. Yeah, they're sweetened with erythritol. But anyways, I got this because it was on sale. So I thought I'd try it because I heard that they're really good. And I hope that they are good because even when they're on sale, this little thing is so expensive. I wouldn't buy it if it wasn't on sale, but I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try since we're looking for snacks and they were on sale. I also got a little thing of goldfish to take to my trip. So I saw another YouTuber use these. I think it was on her Instagram actually, but I thought I'd give it a try. These are rescue patches and they help you bounce back after a night out if you're drinking. So just in case we drink in Mexico, I thought I would bring these because evidently you just wear it and it helps you recover and not get a hangover so i thought this would be interesting fun to try so i'll report back if this works so the last couple things i picked up i've been eyeing for so long i've been waiting for our new house to pick them up so i'm just so excited that we finally picked these two things up the first one is this bamboo drying rack i love how you can just fold it and store it under your sink if you're not using it so we picked this up and we just kept our plastic one or we gave it to our housemate because it was kind of ugly and i didn't like how it lived on our counter so i'm really excited to have this beautiful one. The last thing I got, it was a splurge definitely, but I decided to get new silverware. So I got this champagne color. I have been eyeing the silverware set from Target for so long. It's the Threshold brand and um, I don't know if it shows the actual color, but as you can see, it is like a champagne gold. I bought three sets of the silverware as well as the serving utensils too, because I wanted enough to make sure that all four of us could have enough utensils and fully switch over our utensils. Prior to this, we have been using the same utensils since college. They don't match at all. They were just completely random. So I am excited to start using this matching set and we were able to give our housemate all of the utensils we had, which was nice. So that's it for Target. And then the last things I have on my to-do list is I need to move my computer up to my desk. I need to give Jonathan a haircut and then we need to make dinner. So I will show you what we make for dinner. I saw this salad on TikTok where they she just mixed arugula and sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut and so I'm really excited to try it. I checked with my family and no one else really is excited about this but I figured if it's just for me that's totally fine. And then Jonathan is making some chicken in his sous vide and we are going to have a great time. So I will show you how that dinner turns out and then I will give Jonathan a haircut at the end. Here we have the sous vide chicken. Here's what that sous vide looked like. Now I am making the sauerkraut salad. So I just have arugula, sauerkraut, 
Going to mix it together, add a little bit of olive oil, and we'll see if it's good. I didn't finish the vlog last night because after dinner we just spent a lot of time talking together and then we watched The Office. I forgot to end the vlog or cut Jonathan's hair. So today I am a little bit frazzled. We have a lot of things to do today and we leave super, super early in the morning tomorrow. So today I have to do laundry, cut Jonathan's hair, pack. It's gonna be a busy day. So I thought I'd take you along, especially when I pack. But to start, let's do our makeup. I did wash my makeup brushes this morning. I didn't think about the fact that I would do my makeup today. So I think I'm gonna have to be a little creative, but I like to do my makeup the day before I leave for vacation Because then I make sure I have everything no extras and I'm ready to throw my makeup bag right in my suitcase Before I do my makeup though, I just want to show you the disarray our room is here are my makeup brushes They're still drying, but they are clean and then over here We have my suitcase I gotta pack that we still have a bin We have to unpack or put somewhere for now. I have a couple packages that I need to send out out to my family some things that we picked up when we were shopping that silverware I got yesterday uh, it's just a big mess we're in the middle of doing some laundry ate two bags of chips from the pack I bought yesterday for breakfast and we have a lot of other just boxes and things going around for some reason I completely underestimated how stressful it would be going on vacation when we're still settling in half of my things I don't even know exactly where they are because we just don't have a place for them to unpack quite yet until we figure out like what cabinet what drawer to put everything in so as I'm trying to figure out what I need to bring for vacation I'm also trying to figure out where things are trying to unpack trying to get organized and it's making my brain feel all jumbled so let's quickly do some makeup up and then we'll get to it. Before I start packing, I am going to eat lunch I thought I would report back on the arugula sauerkraut salad. I really liked it. It's super easy. Just arugula, sauerkraut, a little bit of olive oil. I like it heavy on the sauerkraut. If you like sauerkraut, I highly recommend giving this salad a try. start packing so I went through my closet and pulled out all of the clothes that I want to go through so I can figure out what I'm going to put in my suitcase I'm gonna try them on real quick so I can make sure I can put an outfit together I tried on all of the clothes that I think I'm going to bring. I made a huge mess. <laughs> now it's time to pack them up. I do have some dresses in mind, some day outfits. So let's go ahead and see if they will all fit here. By the way, I am only packing a carry-on for this trip. So let's hope it can all fit. So we will be there for three full days and two travel days. So I'm going to bring four dresses for dinner. So because I think we'll be there for four nights. So I'm actually bringing all four dresses from a Lulu's haul that I did. It was a while ago at this point. <laughs> I will link that haul down below if you are interested in checking out when I picked up these dresses. But I finally get to wear them. Let's go ahead and pack those up. I'm gonna bring three pairs of shorts, 
I think that should be enough. These are the Levi's 501s, which are one of my favorite styles. And then these ones are the Curve Love, the Mom Short High Rise Jeans from Abercrombie. I'm going to bring this skirt that I got from the Goodwill Outlets. For tops, I'm going to pack this red one. It's from Free People, but I got it at Lulu's. I'm gonna bring this top. It's BP from Nordstrom. And I tried on all of these with the shorts so I can kind of mix and match. I'm gonna bring this sweater top. This is from TJ Maxx. I got this little tank top in case it's super hot. And this is from Express. It's the body contour line. I've worn the green one, but I've never worn this taupe one before. I feel like this would look good with white shorts. Another little Fashion Nova tank. This one is super soft. Just basic white tank. Here's a flowy shirt that I'm going to wear with that skirt in case I do need something over that white tank top. And this is from Forever 21. Don't really shop from Forever 21 anymore, but some of their clothes actually is decent and stands the test of time. This bodysuit is from Free People as well that I also got from Lulu's. It just has like this cutout at the top and I thought black actually looked really good with the jean shorts. So I'm gonna bring this too. So I think that's good for actual outfits. Now I need to pack workout clothes, pajamas, and and that might be it, like loungy clothes and swimsuits, swimsuits too. I'm also gonna bring this dress from Halara. This is a, just an athletic dress, but it's also fairly casual. So I feel like I could wear this during the day too over swimsuits. All right, here are my Lululemon Align leggings. I can't decide if I wanna wear these on the airplane cause it's going to be hot, but airplanes are always cold. So I actually think I'm going to save this for the airplane and then I might pack my Halara biker shorts in my personal item. Just in case it's super hot, I can change at the airport. But I will be bringing one workout set. These shorts are from Amazon. They are my favorite workout shorts. This sports bra is from Zella. And then I have one more workout like walking outfit. So Target, this one is Under Armour and my Halara running shorts. And then this purse I have been holding on to forever. I don't even remember I got it. I think I got it in one of my subscription boxes. I'll go ahead and take it out of the plastic just to make sure the zipper works and everything. But I thought that this bag would actually be really perfect for clutch when we go to dinner since we're not planning really to leave the resort. And then in terms of shoes, if we go out, I was trying to pick between these two shoes. This one has an actual pointed heel and this one has a wedge, but I feel like the white matches more with things and I don't want to bring more than one heel. I will be bringing a couple pairs of sandals and since I'm only bringing a carry-on, I don't want to bring too many shoes. So I think I'm going to bring the white and I'm going to leave this like camel color wedge at home. All right, so let's go ahead and zip this up. So I've had these travel bags forever. I highly recommend. The brand is Hudson and Bleaker. It comes with two bags and a clear bag and and when I keep this in my travel box, I just keep it all together like this. But one of them is for undergarments and then one of them is for shoes, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack my underwear and socks off camera and then I'll go over all my toilet toiletries <laughs> in a little bit once I get those together. Also wanted to mention I'm bringing like five swimsuits. I hope that's enough. I'm hoping to swim like every day, but I will put that in my undergarment bag as well. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. I finished packing for the most part. There's just a few more items that I need to throw in. I took a brief intermission to cut Jonathan's hair. So sorry I didn't vlog it. Enjoyed this clip of last time I cut Jonathan's hair that I didn't end up putting in a vlog. And I'm sure I will be able to show the full process another time. We are running out of time and I do not recommend packing for a trip right after you move into a new place. I'm finding myself unpacking and repacking for this trip and I can't find so many things that I have in my mind because they're in some box somewhere. Like I know the general proximity but I have a whole closet full of stuff. It just, it's a little chaotic. And so I found mostly everything that I needed though. There's just a couple things that I'm still going to look for. So I'm going to spend the rest of the night organizing my stuff, seeing if I can locate those few last little items. And that will be it. I will show you my suitcase right now. So here's all the clothes. I was able to zip it up and compact it, which is good. I have this, which has like all of my toiletries in it. I have my undergarments right there. I have my shoes right there tools right there. I still need to put my straightener in the suitcase. Those are my snacks I'll put on my personal item. Makeup, swim bag, and hair products. And then this bag will go in here too, but I'm leaving it out just in case there's any other miscellaneous stuff. I have my jewelry, hair clips, scarf, sunglasses, all of those miscellaneous things. The most important packing is done. Thank
thankfully. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog so we can spend the rest of the evening trying to relax, going to bed nice and early so we can wake up at the crack of dawn to go to the airport. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in Mexico. Bye. Oh,